I'm Barry Trammell with The Oklahoman. The Wishbone backfield was together again on Tuesday, and if you have to ask which one, well, you're not the OU football fan I thought you were. In Sooner lore, there were many great Wishbone quarterbacks, from Steve Davis to Thomas Lott to J.C. Watts to Jamel Holloway. Many great Wishbone fullbacks, from Horace Ivory to Kenny King to Stanley Wilson to Lydell Carr. Many great Wishbone halfbacks, from Joe Washington to Elvis Peacock to Billy Sims to Spencer Tillman. But there was only one wishbone backfield. Jack Mildren, Leon Crosswhite, Joe Wiley, and Greg Pruitt, the foursome that became so fearsome during the breakout 1971 season. No sooner backfield since has been so linked. No sooner backfield so tied to one glorious autumn when Oklahoma returned to college football's center stage. Their reunion was for the worst of reasons, the death of Mildren. General Jack died last week at the age of 58, reminding us all of our mortality. Probably none were reminded more than the dozens of ex-teammates who gathered at McFarland Methodist to honor their leader. None more than the remaining members of that backfield. They too are a testament to the passing of time. Joe Wiley still has that boyish smile but is mostly gray. Leon Crosswhite wears glasses. Greg Pruitt looks the same in the face, but is thickened out to the point where he just might not be the fastest guy on a football field anymore. But just a few blocks north of the gridiron where they frolicked 37 years ago, the backfield was together again, three in dark suits and one in a coffin. They told stories and laughed about the old days and mourned General Jack, who in, who in his last act of leadership reminded them to cherish all their day.